Will, nice to have you here then, Will. And Will, I like it, because a lot of people are sort of dressed up for a night out as well. You've got that look of you of a man who went out for a pint of milk and fucking ended up out. I, uh, it's <laughs> genuinely, you look surprised and bemused that this has happened to you. Just went to the shops, suddenly I'm at a night of entertainment, Will. Um, thanks for coming out. What'd you do, Will? You must know, you get up in the morning and then, I can't give you more clues, Will. Um, what'd you do? C shall I ask your other half? I've got, your inability to answer does make me feel like I, I should ask your partner, but I begin to believe she might be your helper. So I, um, it's right, you don't have to give us a joke answer. You just let me know, I'm always curious. So, uh, Will's other half, hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jill. Jill. Uh, Will and Jill, that's yeah. fucking unfortunate. I, uh, You're an opera singer and an opera singer and a vocal, fucking hell! Um, I don't know a huge amount about opera, but I understand singers have a kind of a range and that kind of discerns what type of opera singer they are. Is that the case? Is that, yeah. Right, okay, fine. So, Will, what's yours? I'm a baritone. You're a baritone, okay. And, and uh, Jill, what's yours? Soprano. Soprano and a baritone, excellent. <laughs> wow, fuck me. Uh, you know what, the, yes, I, the point I was going about to make was that when we started running this club, I wasn't entirely sure how to pitch the tickets. Now, obviously, we do a fairly decent concession price here to make sure that everyone has the accessibility to comedy, but we also knew that when we sold the tables, there were a few people out there who do quite well for themselves, and fuck me, we've nailed it tonight. There we go, let's... Ins retired insurance executives and opera singers. <laughs> Fucking take that, West Street. I, uh... Right now, in the centre of Brighton right now, there are plumbers and decorators fist fighting in the street over a kebab. We've got the fucking proper people here. Oh, that's the kind of scum filter I want. Thank you for coming in. Um, and, and, and opera singers. But you, you are basically having a night out on a Saturday and not working, so you can't be going that well for you. But I, um, no, I'm only messing with you. Uh, when was the last uh, big performance for the two of you then? Oh, and do you often perform together? Or is it just in different places? No, that makes it really tricky, tricky with childcare. Makes it really tricky with childcare? Yeah, I'd like to point out, both of you are out right now, and there are no fucking kids anywhere near you, so, I mean... <laughs> so you don't know where they are. What, how old are the children? Um, 12 and 8. They're at sleepovers. 12 and 8. They're at sleepovers. Oh, my God. That's what I said when I was homeless as well. So, I, uh, I'm on a sleepover. <laughs> I've got nowhere to live. Um, and it's 12 and 8, that's good. They're, they're kind of their own people now and they've got a certain amount of responsibility and uh, ability to look after themselves. Uh, wh where was the last place that you performed then, Will, as an opera singer? Uh, in Nancy. In Nancy. <laughs> right, okay. I, I know Nance. Uh, no, uh, well, no, fuck, I don't know Nancy. I, uh, it does sound a little bit Nancy, I've got to be honest with you, but I, uh, where is Nancy? In, in northeastern France. Northeastern France. Oh, so getting up towards Belgium, that's sort of neck of the woods, is it? Yeah. Right, okay, fair enough. And uh, was it large? Was it a big auditorium or something like that? Or? It's quite, quite a big audience. See, see, that's the thing, you see, because obviously in comedy, you, you start in little clubs and little back rooms and pubs and you work your way up before you're doing the Apollo and stuff like that. And does it work like that with opera singers? Are you like in a pub function room in front of eight people? <laughs> You've got in for free and you're sitting there banging out, you know, La Travia, and they're sort of going, fuck it, I may as well. I mean, I, I mean how do you get from like being in that huge theatre from little. It kind of goes the other way around. Right? It goes the other way around. You start in a big theatre, and if you're shit, you just slowly get into smaller and smaller places. Right, fuck it. Well, it's great to meet you on your way down. I, um... And, and obviously, with both of you being opera singers, I'm guessing that's how you met, through the work, through the kind of the, through the entertainment biz. Uh, which one of you is the more successful? <laughs> She works harder. She works harder? Okay, well there you go then, that's because of the massive imbalance in gender pay. She's got to fucking earn the same as you by doing longer fucking hours, Will. I, um, hope you stand out for it. Yeah, exactly, I know, sisters. I, um... <laughs> were, you, were you also in non as well then, Jill? Or were you at home looking after the kids at that point, were you? Yeah, the latter. Right, the latter, okay. Then, and when was your last big performance? Oh, last weekend. Last weekend? Look at that, Will. Fucking look and learn. There we go. I, uh... Maybe she's not working harder, maybe she's just a bit more popular. <laughs> uh, uh, 